LA, Associated Press, Zach Bryan and his buddies are joining the chorus protesting Ticketmaster's controversial concert pricing policies. On Sunday, the country music performer released the live CD All My Homies Hate Ticketmaster. It was followed by a social media post in which he lamented a major problem with reasonable ticket prices to live events lately. Brian cautioned that he didn't have control over ticket prices for festivals he'll play, saying, I've decided to play a limited number of headline shows next year to which I've done all I can to make prices as low as possible and to prove to people tickets don't have to cost $450 to see a good and honest show. Recently, Ticketmaster has come under a lot of criticism and negative headlines, particularly because of the botched ticket distribution for superstar Taylor Swift's upcoming Eras Tour. The scheduled general sale for the stadium tour was cancelled as a result of the dominating ticketing company running out of tickets in the middle of November after a pre-sale event crashed the website and left many fans without tickets. Even several state attorneys general have launched investigations as a result of the scandal. Brian made reference to political activity in his statement when he criticized inaction while big monopolies sit there ripping money from working-class people. Experts suggest the anger over Ticketmaster's tactics may motivate political engagement. He continued, a songwriter should take pride in battling for the people who listen to the words they're singing. They're attempting to make relatable music for the working-class man or woman. Brian had a one-two punch at the top of Apple Music's country chart as of Monday morning, he performed on November 3 at Colorado's Red Rocks Amphitheater, and a recording of that performance, All My Homies Hate Ticketmaster, with 24 tracks, is currently at number one. His 2022 big label debut, American Heartbreak, is at number two. Brian promised to make a tour announcement soon.